What's going on everybody? Mike Paldino here at Evo BJJ and today we're going to go over the mermaid sweep. Okay, so let's take a look at the mermaid sweep and the variations. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to likely hit the mermaid sweep from inside of closed guard. All right. And so from this position, what I want to look to establish is double sleeve grips. Okay. Hook grips on both of her sleeves. As Gabby stands up, I'm going to open my guard and chop really tight around her knees. My feet kind of look like a mermaid, okay? From here, I'm gonna crisscross her arms and dump her either to the left or to the right. I'm gonna choose to go to the right and I rock right up on top inside of Gabby's guard, okay? One more time with the cross sleeve variation. I establish double sleeve control. Gabby stands up. I'm gonna open my guard and crisscross really tight, pitching my knees like a bear trap. Crisscross Gabby's arms, and I'm gonna dump her to either my left or my right, and rock right up on top. Okay, so that's the first grip variation, is crossing Gabby's arms like so. The second grip variation is just gonna be to dump Gabby's arms in the same direction. So Gabby stands up, I open my guard, chop around her knees, and I'm gonna dump her hands, to, or steer her hands towards my left, and dump her to my right. Climbing up on top, one more time. Gabby stands up, I open my guard, I steer her arms towards my left, and dump her towards my right, okay? Now, let's say Gabby gets one of her hands free, which is possible, okay? So, what I wanna do in this situation is get leg control. So, I have double sleeve control, Gabby stands up, okay? She able to pull her arm out, I crisscross my feet and pinch my knee super tight. First thing I want to do is grab control of the closest ankle to me, okay? And now I want to pull myself towards her, creating an angle, and shoot my left hand to her far leg and grab a nice grip. Now I want to dump her towards the hand that I have control of. So right here, I rock right up on top. Notice when I came up, I kept my feet crossed the entire time, okay? I did not open my guard to come up on top. One more time, Gabby stands up, she gets her arm free, I crisscross my feet and pinch my knees super tight, extending my legs out. I grab her ankle and I'm gonna pull myself to the outside so I can get an ankle, an angle where I can create uh, control so I can grab her far ankle. Now I'm gonna dump Gabby either to my right or straight back here, keeping my knees closed the whole time, and I rock up right on top of uh, Gabby in her guard. Now the mermaid sweep even works if Gabby stands up with me. Okay, so let's say, Gabby stands up with me, I have double sleeve control. She's able to pick me up, no problem. I'm gonna open my guard and chop right around her knees. Boom, okay, crisscross, dump Gabby, and I wind up on top. So some troubleshooting with the mermaid sweep, all right? First things first is look how my legs go if someone's legs were in between mine. I crisscross and I extend, okay? Kind of like a mermaid. My two legs become one. I come here, I pinch my knees tight, and I extend. Okay, that's number one. Number two is that, will you come hop over here, Gabby? Is that I want to maintain control of Gabby, so I need a good pinch of my knees. As Gabby stands up, as I come down, I don't want to go too low. Sometimes people go too low. Okay, my knees are flared out, and Gabby can just easily high step out of this. Boom, okay, exactly. So it's important that as Gabby stands up, I want to slide and lock my legs super tight around her knees, pinching her knees together, okay? Just like so. My knees are picked, look, they're not loose, they're pinched tight and my legs are extended and now I can crisscross her arms, steer them to one direction or grab control of an ankle and climb up on top, okay? This sweep was really made famous by uh, Leandro Lowe. Leandro does this sweep to a lot of people that's an extremely good sweep when someone stands up in your guard. Also, Gary Tonin does a no-gi variation of this. He calls it the dummy sweep, I believe. Um, and he does a very good job with this sweep as well in no-gi. So it does translate. Instead of grabbing double sleeve control, uh, Gary will get the mermaid type grip with his legs and then he will bear hug his opponent's two legs. I wanna go over one other thing, one other troubleshooting, and that's if someone stands up with their legs really wide. Okay, so you have a couple options for here. So if Gabby happens to stand up really wide, 
she's opening herself up to quite a few different sweeps. The first one would be the Holeka sweep where I open up here, drop my hips, and dump right over the top. So typically speaking, Gabby will likely put her legs together, okay? It'll afford a little bit more balance and some frequency for her to work my guard. But I've also seen Leandro close people's legs that were super wide, so if Gabby stands up and her legs are kind of wide, with a chop, okay? So he'll come here, go a little bit wider with your legs. Leandro will come open and chop really tight here until he can adjust with a nice pinch. One more time. Gabby's legs are kind of wide. One, two, Leandro will open and chop here, just like so, and it forces this person, there's so much pressure on the knees, it forces the person to move their ankles closer together. Then I can crisscross and dump and wind up on top for my sweep. So that's your mermaid sweep. Oos. I hope you all enjoyed this technique. Uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the page.